Now you might be a homeowner. Of course you're a homeowner with your own furnace. But some of your homeowners are gonna run into problems with your furnace. There's certain tools you might need to work on your furnace. And if you don't have them, you might not wanna jump into this project either. Most likely, most of these furnaces require two different screws to take off your first door. Now keep in mind, you take off this first door, your furnace is not operationable because there's a safety switch inside this door that stops your furnace from running so you don't have no moving parts when you got your hands inside of it. So, if this is my furnace, this one's more of a, a snap lock type of furnace, so you pull the door right off, take the first door off. Now, your furnace might be a little bit different where you're gonna have two different screws up here, which you might require a 5 16 nut driver to be able to remove the screws to open it up. <laughs> Once again, if you're not comfortable with working on the inside of your furnace, don't do it because you can, also, you can always cause more damage than what you're doing good. If you're comfortable with this kind of unit, you might want to use a voltmeter. By testing this fuse, you can turn it to your ohms, you can check both sides of your fuse, and you can know if that fuse is bad or not. Or, most of us do it yourselfers. You'll be able to look at your fuse in the light, and you'll be able to tell if it's blown or not. That's my first suggestion is when you're looking into a furnace. And if you gotta look farther than that, you might want to consult a professional.